In this lecture, we're going to be talking about a new concept called speed reading. Speed reading is, as I said, a new concept. It was introduced recently by a number of different apps that claim that they can help you with speed reading. It came with a number of facts that gets to a point where a person can read supposedly um, 1,200 words in a minute, where the average person reads between 200 to, two th to 300 words per minute. Reading 1,200 words per minute can be uh, out of this world. And of course, uh, just imagine yourself being able to read 12,000 words in one minute. It, it doesn't stop there. Some people claimed that they can read 17,000 words per minute after applying a lot of different speed reading techniques and mechanisms. And there isn't one system to follow when it comes to speed reading. There are a lot of different systems and different methods that you can use for speed reading that were introduced through research. And of course, when we talk about speed reading, we, we're not talking about a speed where you're just going through words rapidly with zero comprehension. We're talking about speed reading when it comes to method that can ensure you reading and comprehending and analyzing information faster. We want to go through scientific and practical approaches to make sure that you hit the nail on the head. Speed reading is nowadays widely used over the world, and it's one of the most uh, controversial topics that are taking place in the entrepreneurial world. Warren Buffett says, the more you learn, the more you earn. And of course, reading is one of the most essential parts when it comes to learning. When you're developing your reading mechanisms, you are developing your learning mechanisms automatically. But just briefly, we're going to talk about how reading actually works. Because reading is a very complex process. From light hitting the retina, the processing, the linking, analyzing, concluding, thinking, answering, recalling, sharing, saving. Reading is a complex process. As soon as you're looking at a text, the light is hitting the retina of your eye. And through this reflection of light that is hitting your retina, the neural analysis is happening on the retina level, the processing is happening, then inside your brain happens the linking between what you're thinking and your memories and your thoughts. It also gets linked with your, the logical side of your brain, with the creative side of your brain, depending on the issue or what you're trying to process. Then comes the analyzing, the applying of the logical side or the creative side of, or your memories or your thoughts. And then you have a conclusion. You're going to know what's going on. Then you, you're going to start thinking. You're going to start having some ideas and doubts around this main idea. And then you're going to start looking for answers. You're going to try to use recalling. You're going to recall a lot of information that you didn't recall before. You might even share this information and pass it on to somebody else. After reading something, you can explain it to someone or you can just save it in your system and keep it in your brain where you might access it later. Reading is a complex process. That's exactly why we're not going to go in depth into the science of how reading works uh, scientifically, psychologically, biologically, how it works, because um, it will not help you at all in attaining the goal, which is being able to speed read. And it will just waste your time. So we're going to skip it. But it is essential to understand that reading is indeed a very complex process and people who just expect to wake up one day and start reading 50 pages a day, it's more likely that this is not going to happen. It's not that easy to just say, I'm going to start reading and I'm going to start reading a thousand words a minute. Reading is a complex process that needs a lot of training, a lot of practice to be able to get to a mastery level. Some people start off by reading one chapter a day and they get to a point where they're reading one book a day. Um, uh, there's an entrepreneur called Ty Lopez. Uh, <clears throat> some of you might be familiar with him. He's uh, very well known for his, um, uh, for his parody uh, where he, was, uh, he had a video in his garage showing his Lamborghini and the books and saying words like knowledge and stuff. And people made fun of him. Um, but he... I don't know if it's true or not, he claimed that he reads one book a day and he even made a TED talk about it that you guys can go and watch it. He says, if you can wake up every single morning and meditate while having Dalai Lama as your mentor and then 
go to the gym and have Arnold Schwarzenegger as your personal trainer and then go do some investing in having Warren Buffett as your invest as your as your mentor for investment how better would your life be and then he continues to say that when you read one book a day the more you read and the more you read and keep on reading all of these people's thoughts can become your thoughts and therefore you can use them as mentorship and that's why he said that he reads one book a day he says this is how he was able to acquire all the knowledge that he needs um to for his entrepreneurial journey to get to where he wants to get and again i'm not sure if he actually does read one book a day or not but if you look him up there are a lot of people who are going to say that he was a scammer he scammed people into buying the program that he had the 70 whatever 6 steps program and a lot of people did buy it and he made a lot of money off of it and uh, a lot of other people say that no he is not lying he is an actual entrepreneur and he did all of that he does read one book a day and it shows in his all the information that he has but at this point what we care about is uh just realizing that reading is not easy and you're going to have if you're if you don't read a lot if you haven't had the habit of reading you need to start developing as a habit to be able to get to the fullest potential when it comes to reading see when we're speed reading we're in the process of rapidly uh, recognizing and getting in and absorbing all the different phrases and words and sentences that you see on the page in front of you uh, rather than just looking at word by word kind of texts and you will notice that the more you practice speed reading the more you'll be able to read the more you'll be able to process words um the numbers will start to grow you'll be able to process these words and phrases and texts uh in a shorter amount of time while ensuring way better comprehension overall and as we said before most people uh, read at an average of 250 200 to 300 words per minute uh what would be ideal is for you to set a timer for 1 minute and see how much words can you how many words can you read in 1 minute and then work from there work your way through from there every single week you go back to the same exercise and you see how many words were you able to read now in 1 minute but it can get kind of complicated because as we said speed reading is not about reading individual words but you'll see what i mean in uh, in a few and lastly as i said before It's not just about reading words, it's also about retaining and comprehending the words. And what makes speed reading more complicated is that you need to keep in mind these two factors. You need to keep in mind that even though you're speed reading, your comprehension and your retention can be affected. The faster you read, the less you'll be able to comprehend information and retain information. So how to balance it out? That's a big question right there. But of course this revolution uh, this major revolution in information that has taken over the world where all the information that you need are easily accessible it makes the speed reading process way easier if you want to know how um lotion can affect your skin in a positive way you can just google it and read an article but back in the day they had to go to the library and look for books and then in the books look for the chapter and then look for the exact paragraph or <clears throat> section that is talking about this topic and that was a big hurdle for for speed reading but nowadays it's way way easier because the information is way more accessible and way easier to understand and when people have access to the web and they have access to all these information when they do buy a book they become a bit hesitant and a lot of times they just drop the book as soon as they see that there's a lot of boring detail that has nothing to do with the subject if you've done a lot of reading before in your life you would know that at one point you bought a book and you were really excited for it and then you started reading it to realize that it is the most boring text you've ever read and it doesn't have any rich information that you were looking for and you just close the book and drop it it stays on the shelves for for years and nobody would ever touch the book again because your impression is that the book is boring and maybe it is and having the information on the web having the internet to be able to access all the information that you need uh would make it way easier for you to just let go of this book 
And that's where speed reading steps in. Speed reading, when you have these kind of books, you'll be able to go through the information faster. You'll be able to comprehend the information that are actually crucial and let go of the information or the boring details that you don't need. And if you go from reading 200 words a minute to reading 1000 words a minute, this is you reading at five times the pace you're reading at before. So if it would take you uh, five days to finish one chapter, now it, it would take you one day. So if it would take you uh, two months to finish a book made out of 12 chapters, after mastering the speed reading techniques, it would take you about 12 to 15 days. Speed reading will allow you to read more material in the same time that you spend reading now. So it gives you more time to read the material that you want to. And keep in mind that you more, the more you're training uh, and the more you're practicing your speed reading, you are improving your focus, your concentration, your comprehension and your retention, which will have a positive effect on the reading material that you have in front of you.